Hello, and welcome to the training session on how to run an OTBI report for general ledger and accounts payable. Uh, as always, I'll be starting from the home area in Oracle. You can always get home by clicking on your home icon. Okay, in order to run an OTBI report for GL and accounts payable, we're going to start by clicking on the upper left-hand corner on the navigator menu bar. And once you click on that, you're going to go to the uh, to the right-hand side of your screen uh, where it says Reports and Analytics. So click on that. And this is going to bring you to the reporting uh, section of the system. You're going to click on your Browse Catalog button on the upper right-hand side of the screen and you are going to see this which says my folders and shared folders i usually pull this out a little bit just so i can see it better so what you're going to do is you're going to get into some of the otbi reports that have been uh, built for so you're going to click on the little triangle next to shared folders and then you're going to click on the little triangle next to custom and then you're going to click on the triangle next to financials and then there is a folder called global reports if you click on that it's going to open up the section of reports that have been built uh, specifically for so there's um, one of the folders is is for accounts payable so this folder has accounts payable reports <clears throat> that have been built using either otbi um, which you can tell the OTBI reports because they have this um, kind of indicated by a dashboard icon, this, this little thing that looks like a speedometer. And um, there's some custom reports mixed in, which look like the uh, orange reporting um, icon. Uh, the next one is balance sheets. So that's uh, reports numbered between 100 and 199. And all of those are actually FRS reports. So you'll see those are um, with this icon. And then you can browse through, you could kind of, you know, go through these reports and see which reports are available. There's also a document that will give you an inventory of all the reports that are available that have been built for, uh, for the Oracle Cloud uh, GL and AP system. Uh, so this one here says uh, GL detail and trial balance reports. So this is the one we're going to demonstrate today. So this has a mix of both um, FRS reports. Here's an OTBI report, and here's a custom report. We're going to run this OTBI report called uh, Journals by Batch. So what you do is once you identify the report you want to run, you just want to click on it, click on the open um, link there. And it'll bring you to the parameters window. Every report will have different parameters. So for this report, it just allows you to run a report um, for your journal batch. So you can run a report. You can see this one has an asterisk next to journal batch, which means that this uh, field is required. So you can basically pick um, whether you want to say your value is equal to or you know is in less than um, equal to whatever uh, one you want to pick here so if I say is just is in or equal to I can then just choose the journal batch um, that I want so if I can also I can also do a search on the one I want so if I don't want to scroll through everything I can just uh, search so if I want to say everything that is um, equal to um, begins with 01 so here are all, all the ones that I may be interested in and so let's say this is the one I want I click on it I pull it over to the selected area. I can do multiple if I wanted to. So I'm picking all of the journal entries that I'm interested in. I select them here. I pull them over by selecting either the move or 
move all over. If I don't like one I picked, I could select it and move it back. I say OK. Uh, there's other um, not required fields that I could also choose as my parameters. And um, once I choose all these fields, I click on OK. The report's produced. Um, I can kind of peruse the report. What I typically do at this point is export it to Excel. So you can see I have an export um, option down here. I always export these using the data CSV format export option. I click on that. It'll export it to Excel. Here it is down at the bottom. I click on it. And the report is here available for me in Excel. And then I can do whatever I want to with it once it's in Excel. So that is running a report out of Oracle. Again, just to cover this off, if I, once I'm in OTBI and I'm here, I can always click back on catalog. And if I click back on catalog, um, it'll bring me back to the catalog where I left off. Again, um, you can peruse this global reports folder. These are all the reports that include the OTBI reports that have been built for this project. Um, potentially more to come, but um, that's it. That's how you run an OTBI report in Oracle Cloud GL. Thank you.